Oh, wow. Welcome back. It is 1014. It is Thursday. Uh, the music is good. Wow. I like that choice. I'm a huge Metallica <laughs> fan, so thank you for that. I mean, I don't know if people could see that at home, but Christopher was just rocking out there uh, with that uh, James you got Hetfield to when lyrics. Sandman plays. I love sure. it. Okay, uh, we got to talk about what to watch. Kevin, you're going to have the in theater options coming up yeah. tomorrow. Correct. But this morning, producer Chris back with a new incomplete list of what is streaming. What do we got to watch? Listen, every week I stand here and I give you guys dozens of <laughs> options, week after week, dozens, maybe even hundreds of options, but none of you are listening apparently because everyone is watching the same thing. So I'm here to talk about what's new, what's hot in Hollywood. This is definitely red hot, absolutely not new. So we're digging into why everyone is apparently watching Suits. Take a look. <laughs> Just a small sample of the many, many headlines exploring the streaming phenomenon happening right now. Because instead of all those new shows that we talk about every week, TV watchers have been glued to a USA Network legal drama that premiered back in 2011. We're going to need to streamline this. Give each guy a hard time before you send them back. Give me a wink if they say something clever. Cool? Okay. What are you looking for? Another me. We're talking about Suits. It's been one of the top streaming series on Netflix for weeks. And if you've never seen it, welcome to the club. But since it debuted on Netflix earlier this summer, it has racked up a record-setting 3.1 billion minutes viewed in a single week. I appreciate it. Thanks, Robin. Oh, you're welcome, Batman. So why the obsession? On one hand, experts blame the Netflix effect, where old shows find new life thanks to algorithms and hundreds of millions of subscribers. It happened with you, Gilmore Girls, Breaking Bad, and others. On the other hand, we have a historic summer in Hollywood happening right now. With both writers and actors on strike, there are fewer shows to choose from. And on top of all that, there were more than 100 episodes to binge. Formulaic, case of the week structures, simplistic plots, and a powerful mix of drama, comedy, romance, and mystery, but never too much of any one thing. Are you serious? From now on, it's are you serious, ma'am? Have you got that pretty boy? And finally, the other X Factor, Meghan Markle. It's what made her famous, you know, before she married a prince and became public enemy number one. That's right, guys. You can never underestimate the power of hate watching. <laughs> For the record, only the first eight seasons of Suits is streaming on Netflix right now. Season nine, you'll have to catch on Prime Video or Peacock. Shout out to Steve for helping me out with that package and editor Jana, guys. Yeah, and it's really fascinating with the strike aspect of it as well. And Chris and I were discussing this in the newsroom earlier and the concept of like, this is kind of an idea of like how writers are, what the one of the, one of the reasons the writers are striking right now is because yeah. of residuals and making yeah. money. And, oh, yeah, and, yeah. You know, when this show ends up making all these, you know, having all these They're massive not. views, uh, I don't think it's translating to the amount of money that the writer deserves. Right. Uh, and that to me is really interesting. I mean, and, and you is another great example of this as well, where it found another life on streaming as well. What was uh, Suits? Was on uh, USA Network. Yeah, so. I remember yeah. watching the yeah. first episode of it when it came out. I watched every single episode in real time, uh, <laughs> like way back when, like right? Appointment TV, like week to week. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because it is such a smart show, yeah. and I'm glad people are realizing that now. Yeah. Um, it's a very unique show, so if you haven't yeah. seen it. Guys, they call it what, what they call it is blue sky television, which is basically something you could put on while you fold laundry and never feel like you missed anything. That's oh, a kind great of way to put point. it. And that's what Why it is. the term blue sky? Uh, I think it's because it gives positive connotations. It's ah. like to bring you down. Okay. Cool. I like that. I like shows cool. when you don't need a huge mental load. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Chris, what if we want to watch something that is actually new? All right, I do have a couple options for you. And this first one does come with an asterisk, though, because it is new ish. It's a new series. However, it is a ripped from the headline story that we covered right here on Fox 5 last summer. Take a look. Can you please tell the jury why you're here today? Miss Hurt accused me of abuse. My ex-husband is suing me. Brutal, cruel. This is humiliating for any human being to go through. And all false. 
Amber Heard forever changed. Docu series Depp v. Heard. It shows both testimonies side by side for the first time and explores the trial that's at Hollywood ablaze and all of the online fallout that ensued. This were three episodes in this one. They're all streaming on Netflix now. And if you look close, you might even catch you might even catch a glimpse of Bob Barnard in the background ah. in that one because we covered that extensively last year, guys. I believe I saw a quote from the filmmaker who put this together about the idea that it's more about how we as a culture and a society reacted to this moment, mm -hmm. right? This was a huge cultural moment. And I think one of the things that you see in the trailer and one of the things you'll think you'll see in the series is the is the reactions of people. Like there's a video in the trailer where they're watching some, uh, you know, one of the moments on the stand and they're just laughing. And this is about someone's life and, and someone, someone going through traumatic yeah. circumstances, you know? And so, uh, you know, I always had my own opinions about this whole situation. I, I, I find it weird that we are so locked into things like this and the People idea are going of exploiting to... this. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, I, it feels I mean... exploitive, but but I also understand our as human beings the reason we want to watch and engage with this type of content. It's like a car wreck. Uh, yeah. yeah, People exactly. are going to watch this. Yeah. Um, you can't look away. Yeah. You felt like we got enough last year, yeah. and you didn't because I'm sure this is going to see yeah. record views as well. But I'm also I'm, I'm genuinely fascinated if the doc if, if the if the series is dealing with this concept of our own ability to engage with this content. That's fascinating to me. Yeah. Because uh, I'm, I'm interested in why psychologically we find ourselves glued to this type of content. I mean, it's the same reason why, you know, with news, you lead with certain stories. We, yeah, we, yeah. We, we know what people are engaging with. This was just a peek inside yeah. the rich and famous, I yeah. think, that we are never used to seeing or getting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we like just we want were... to see how the other half lives. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were privy to information that we would never get uh, otherwise. And didn't Depp, wasn't Depp the one who wanted the cameras? In the, in the in the courtroom. You'll have to watch to find out. Listen, guys, mm. I've got one more okay. that I want to get to. This one is called Time of Essence. It's a five-part, one-hour docu-series celebrating the trailblazing magazine. This one features interviews with stars like Oprah Winfrey, Halle Berry, Whoopi Goldberg, Regina Hall, Taraji P. Henson, just to name a few. Chapter one focuses on the beginnings back in the 1970s. This one premieres Friday on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Now, that's a little bit of a shorter list from me yeah. this week, guys, because Kevin has a few on-demand and debuts he wants to talk about now. Yeah. And I learned, I didn't realize that the that Essence was started by four men. I did not know that. Yeah. It's in the trailer for it. Um, all right, so a couple options real quick. I know we have to run. Um, so No Hard Feelings is a new R-rated <laughs> comedy uh, that's available on digital VOD platforms now. That means you can go on to like an app and you can buy the film. For, mm. I think it's $19.99. It's one of the funniest films I've seen in a long time. It brought me back to those old school 90s comedies that you go Love to like those. Best Buy and like get the unrated version of. This is Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a really, really funny film. Jennifer Lawrence as well as Andrew Barth Feldman. Uh, that's available now on VOD platforms. Across the Spider-Verse is still crushing. Uh, this is obviously a huge success in theaters. Now is available as well on digital VOD platforms. Uh, and this is one of the best films of the year. Incredible animation. Shamik Moore did a brilliant job as Miles Morales. Definitely one of the better Spider-Man films uh, in the history of those movies. And then finally, if you're looking for a new Transformers movie, um, the Rise of the Beasts film is now streaming on Paramount Plus as, as well as being available on the VOD platforms. And what that means is basically, you, like, if you log on to like Apple TV or whatever, yeah, yeah. you can like buy the film for but this movie in particular you can get on Paramount Plus now streaming as well so I loved it it's a it's, it's a love letter to 90s music and hip-hop and LL Cool J and Biggie but also being a really great story and I love Anthony Ramos as well so the movie is available on Paramount Plus a lot of good throwback feelings yeah. out there a yeah. lot of good stuff Definitely. to watch thank you Kev thank you so much and I'm seeing Blue Beetle tonight I'll have the review tomorrow for that the new DC Comics okay film. we yep. can't wait stay tuned Jeanette Looking I'll send it over to, to you guys thank you it is 1021